good morning welcome to network 360 channel in this video we are we are uh, covering 40 gate wi-fi configuration we are using infrastructure as 40 gate firmware version 6.4.6 .6 and 40 ap model 221e uh, the roadmap summary is first we will connect our ap then uh, ap will be uh, uh, ap will identify the controller then we we will we will authorize the ap after that we will create custom as a custom ap profile then we will attach the custom ap profile to the uh, 40 ap then we will create the ssid profile last we will create uh, last we will create uh, policy when then we will verify the traffic this is the summary so in order to in order to in order to connect uh, ap and uh, work uh, uh, ap to get the connectivity between the ap and 40 gate first of all we have to enable the cap wap on the interface we where we are connecting our ap so we will go to the uh, network interfaces right now i am connecting in the connected in the internal interface so this service this is a cap of security fabric services you have to enable this is the first pre-request and second pre-request the ap should get the ip so uh, i am enabled dhcp server on the interface itself if you have you have separate dhcp server you can use it uh, only the only uh, only the only the main concern is i ap should get the ip addresses okay so we enable the cap web service and dhcp services ap can power on in two way either using the poe from the switch or using 12 volt power adapter that the details about the power and ampere you can check check the your uh, your ap's model the data sheet i am using 221e so and i connected uh, my ap directly to the switch my internal app switch then the ap ap should communicate to controller then only we can see the we can we can see the ap so in order to get the communication between the ap and the controller 40 gate the we can use it in five way the ap discovery process that we call ip discovery process the one minute ap discovery process the first step is the static configuration you can configure in each ap controller ip in statically in each ap that's a difficult if you have 100 or 1000 uh, ap's very difficult second way is a dhcp dhcp in in the dhcp server option 138 you can you, you can you can mention the 40 gate ip address where you enabled where you enabled your uh, uh, cap web services on that interface ip you can you can mention on the D dhcp option 138 and uh, so the a once the ap will get the ip and the uh, option 138 ip uh, ap will communicate and uh, and, uh, and, uh, uh, and start the secure channel between the ap and the 40 gate the third option dns option fourth option 40 cloud fifth option multicasting last option broadcast we are using the broadcast because we our ap and controller are both or both are in the same l2 domain so we are using the broadcast 221e having two uh, two uh, two channel to 2.4 as well as uh, 5 gigahertz and uh, okay next step we go to the managed ap I already authorized so we will do the authorizing uh, once you connected we will wait, get waiting for the authorization right click authorize ap will reboot meanwhile what we can do we 
we can change the ap name ap1 you can keep all the all the field as it is okay now ap is up the communication between the ap and controller it's uh, the tunnel inside the tunnel there is a two channel is using one is data channel another is uh, control channel management channel management channel by default by default it is a dtls encrypted management traffic between the ap and as well as between the ap and the controller for the data traffic it's by default it's a plain test you can change to if you are security concern you can change to a dtls tunnel or ipsec uh, ipsec uh, tunnel uh, the note if you are changing to the tunnel mode there may be penalty on your throughput uh, so uh, to changing the the encryption mode you have to go to the you have to do it through the cli only so we'll go to the cli i will change it now config wireless controller wtp profile okay edit the, once we connected the ap uh, default default profile default pro profile uh, automatically generate and it will, it will attach to the ap in this exercise we are creating the custom ap profile and there is a lot of options i will go through that so for doing that we will do so dtls by default is a plain test so i enabled before that's why it's showing okay the command is set dtls policy by default is clear text we have to change to dtls enabled and now the tunnel is between the ap to con ap to 40 gate both the data channel and management channel using the dtls encryption okay we already authorized we change the name of the ap now let's say if you have if you have thousand aps you are you are doing the project or hundred aps so uh, each ap you have to do the manual authorization you can you can do automatic authorization that uh, I, will, I will i will create it i believe i already did so for that you have to do the cli edit internal okay then set auto auto authentication you have to enable it if you enable this one whenever you're connecting the ap on this interface and it can connect the ap can communicate to the 40 gate using this interface automatically ap will be authorized so uh, 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 if the if the ap and the 40 gate has a different different firmware version you will get here information and from there you directly you can uh, uh, upgrade from the 40 guard or if you are to upgrade double click and there is option to upgrade upgrade you can do the upgrade firmware right now my 40 gate and uh, and uh, 40 ap are same 6.4 version so that's good to go now we are going to create the custom ap profile Okay, platform already taken. Country AP password. I don't want to do these things. So if you want, you can change the uh, the country and the login. And I prefer to client load balance and AP handoff. A frequency handoff and AP AP handoff. I prefer to do because uh, uh, if you enable the frequency handoff, 
this is in another window same like uh, ba uh, the band steering you know that a 2.4 gigahertz channel having the less less channel only three channels is uh, available 12 channel 12 or 13 is the less three channel is published 1611 so more interference will be there if you enable the frequency handoff controller the 40 gate will check the endpoint capability if the dual band devices let's say 2.4 and 5 gigahertz band capable devices and the device is in the within the rssi signal strength so the the controller will send the signal to the client okay please switch please change the bandwidth from 2.4 to 5 gigahertz so client will deauthenticate and authenticate uh, to 5 gigahertz channel 5 gigahertz channel we have more channels are, are available so uh, the so that field we will enable and ap handoff ap handoff let's say you are implementing in an institution where a lot of aps are uh, there and uh, some aps having high usage and nearby ap is less user the ap load balance can do the controller can do the ap load balance so ap can uh, switch some uses from one ap to another ap nearby then the mode we will create we will use access point mode wid by intrusion we will not uh, use radio resource provisioning we will check it out this is uh, interference checking on the channel then the tunnel mode we are using the cap web tunnel and uh, we are using the tunnel mode so client to client to controller all the traffic is in the in inside the tunnel we are not using dtls in the power it's 100 percentage so it depends on the on the your institution you can put the manual also the same thing for the 5 gigahertz 5 gigahertz uh, ac and n only i'm not using i'm not using a because uh, it's very old then the channels 20 megahertz channel it's tx power manual location base we are not using any present services if you are using present services you can use the present services for the for the you know monitoring and all these things and then the cow cow we don't have error scores why we clients okay so we created the, our custom profile so we have to bind the custom profile to our managed ap We change the AP profile. Okay, now last step on the SSID side, we have to create, go into lab. Tunnel mode, lab, 191610.1 slash 24, it's interface create lab one address okay i'm not i'm not using any uh, administrative access if you from wirelessly if you want to manage the uh, our 40 gate you can enable from here tcp server this is for the uses this is for the uses if you have the uh, dcp server internally you can disable this option uh, DHCP server option and uh, you can go to the advanced and you can use the relay services let's say you have the uh, uh, DHCP server in your windows then you can enter here the IP address of your server in my case a lab purpose I am using here in my internal DHCP I'm not using the relay. Lab one broadcasting W2 personal. Then other all is default enabled. Last step we have to create the policy for the wireless usage to access the internet internet or what what so it depends on so 
sorry. Okay, destination will give all service. I will give all NAT by default NAT. Done. So our whole process is done. We will go to the dashboard. Wi Fi. For DAP1 is green, channel utilization you have two radios, there is no uh, clients, rogue APC is there, okay monitoring radios, okay right now I will connect my lab. Okay, we will refresh. Okay, I connected my my client. Okay, if you double click here, you will get full details about client. Okay, so the 10.2 and I have the internet access also. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe, like and subscribe. Thank you.